The Game of Thrones series finale aired Sunday night. 19.3 million viewers turned in, a huge audience. And in addition to all of the memes and all of the hot takes, social media was filled with people saying that they would now cancel their subscription to HBO Now, which is HBO's direct-to-consumer streaming service. There were lots of GIFs and people saying that they would do this basically as soon as the finale aired. And this puts the spotlight on what's known in the media industry as quote-unquote subscriber churn, where basically consumers decide to ditch a service after a certain number of months watching their content uh, and then jump to another one. The analysts I spoke to for this article were talking about how this is a big issue, not just for HBO, but for the other major streaming players like Netflix and Hulu and Amazon Prime. It's never been easier, according to these analysts, for a consumer to bail on a service after they're no longer interested. You don't have to sign an annual contract. You don't have to pay a penalty if you cancel, and canceling is really just as simple as the click of a button, rather than traditional cable bundles where it's a lot more cumbersome or difficult to disentangle yourself from these agreements, and it sometimes can be kind of protracted. All of this being said, it's not like the end of Game of Thrones spells doom for HBO. HBO remains one of the most prestigious, acclaimed, popular, influential cable channels out there. They have sort of set the gold standard for high quality television programming people are going to want to watch so uh, while subscriber churn is very real uh, we should definitely not count HBO out hey NBC News viewers thanks for checking out our YouTube channel subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews show highlights and digital exclusives thanks for watching